an action that must be chosen moment by moment, creating a lineage of love that surrounds this house and this family. We are all in the family of God. And in our history, we find stories, stories of strength, hope, and perseverance. In her memory, I will start this story the same way she did. Listen to my words and keep them in your heart. Long ago, there was a man named Elimelech from Bethlehem who left the country because of a famine moved to a land called Moab. With him were his wife, Naomi, and his two sons, Malon and Kilion. During their time there, Elimelech died, and Naomi was left with her two sons, who married two Moabite women named Orpah and Ruth. But later, both women died, and Naomi was left all alone. She decided to returned to Israel with her daughters-in-law because she heard that God had blessed his people by giving them good crops again. But after they had begun their journey, she changed her mind and tried to convince them to go back. Orpah returned, but Ruth refused. I am a part of a legacy of love that began with this story. Naomi, I won't leave. I will live with you and your people. Ruth, you're still young. Go back to Moab. Let your father marry you to another man. You deserve a family of your own. No, I won't leave. Listen to me. My husband is dead. My sons are now with him. What can I do? Even if I were to marry again today, bear more sons, would you and Orba have waited till they grew up and marry them? No. Go back. God's hand is against me. My life is a bitter mess, and I love you too much to make you stay. No, I'm not going. Orba has returned to her people and her gods. Go with her. No. I love you too much to have you live a widow's life. Go with Please, just go. <laughs> Stop trying to make me leave you. Where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I'll stay. Your people will be my people, and your God, my God. Wherever you die, I will also die and be buried near you. And may God punish me if anything besides death comes between us. It's so difficult for you. My people will treat you as a foreigner. They won't even invite you into their home. It's all right. We'll have each other. What if no one remembers me? What if I can't find a place for us to stay? How will we live? Naomi, you taught me about the God who will provide for all of our needs as long as we place our trust in him. Don't worry about tomorrow, but focus on what God has given us today. Everything will be all right. How do you know that? Because I have faith. I'm not sure I have any faith left. You do. I know you do. Remember what you used to sing to me before our lessons? <laughs> Hear my words and listen well, for there's a story I must tell for a love greater than trust in God hand in hand. Like the wind blowing in the sails, I promise you love never fails. I promise you love never fails.
How did they die? Were they murdered? Were they sick? Was it natural causes? How could it be natural causes? They were so young. Death knows no age. What is this world coming to? Oh, Naomi, what are you gonna do? Don't call me Naomi. It means pleasant and I am no longer pleasant. Call me Laura instead, for I am filled with bitterness. God has treated me bitterly. Please, please. Poor Naomi's exhausted and needs to rest. Who are you? Uh, this is Ruth, my daughter-in-law. She's come with me. Well, you're home now, and we can take care of you. Just send her back. No, she's staying with me. But she's a Moabite. Well, by birth, yes, but in spirit, she's one of us. Oh, Naomi, you know she'll want to go back home with her family. Just let her go. No. I made a vow to take care of her. I'm staying. Is that so? All right, then. I'm sorry, Naomi, but the two of you will not be welcome in my mother's house. I pray that God will provide for you. Come along, girls. Don't ever forget that. <laughs> 